The last question is uh, how we would predict the delamination of the plies for sick composites. This is really a, uh, an area that uh, I've been particularly interested in. And, you know, I've, I've definitely looked at a, uh, quite a few methods. For example, you know, just using the uh, inner landmer shear stress output from layered shells, looking at maybe doing a, a 2D model and uh, discreetly modeling or meshing that adhesive layer to, uh, to predict high stresses uh, to be able to feed into maybe a, another delamination analysis. But uh, really, I think uh, the goal is, and what I feel is that uh, and we should be able to move towards, is using a combination of uh, really the different uh, analysis methods that we offer, um, using the, the layered solid elements so that we don't have to uh, create such a large finite element model um, to represent the different plies and the different adhesives. Um, if we could use layered solid elements and at the same time use the cohesive zone elements, I think with that combination we can accurately capture, you know, the local debonding and, and at the same time being able to capture um, the normal stresses um, that act through the thickness of a, uh, of a thick composite. And, and of course, if you want to get even more complex, you can also uh, use things like our MCT, micromechanics-based failure model, and uh, progressive damage, so we can see how uh, you know, local matrix failures might affect the lamination propagation using the cohesive zone.